Welcome, my beautiful souls and my fellow Geminis. Um, this is your reading for December 2024. Happy December. Happy holidays. Uh, this is going to be for Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Many of you are intuitively guided to readings. Thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Really, your spirit guides who I feel like they they put it within you. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes like you'll scroll by because my readings are long, but they're very in-depth just the way I feel like they're meant to be. And I know not everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, yeah, sometimes, you you know, you'll see a reading. You may look at it and be like, oh, that's awful long. Um, but then something makes you go back to it. Well, that's your spiritual team. And I say that because I do read through my spirit uh, my spirit guides who connect to your spirit guides. And that's also why a reading can resonate with so many. You know, I feel like we are just one big soul family. And there's new members coming to our soul tribe on a daily basis. So welcome. Um, but also thank you for those who uh, have been with me. So again, Gemini, uh, sun, moon, rising, those intuitively guided you could certainly be in love with the Gemini, platonically, romantically. Same thing, your spirit guides know you're here. So, you know, the best thing to do is just be open. Just be open. And um, if it feels right, then it is right. If it doesn't feel, like if you just don't feel it, then this just might not be your reading. You can definitely go onto my homepage. I mean, I have a lot of videos. Um, that I mean I have a lot of videos <laughs> and one may you know something may call you to but again if you felt intuitively guided then I feel like this would be your reading um what else was I going to say yeah so um I have a Gemini moon I understand Gemini very well I do a lot of readings personal readings for Gemini so I really um I get you on a soul level. Um, we are going to use a few different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. And that's why the readings are long because we do go deep. You know, what I want to give you is a life reading, not just a simple little like, oh, you know, look at this, you know, look at this shiny little object. I want you to know if something is meant for you, like how can you manifest it? What do you need to know? Are there any blocks? Um, what new potential is coming your way? So I really dig. Um, well, I shouldn't even say I dig. I just allow it to come to me, to be honest. Um, so that's why they're long. We are going to use the Tarot of Dreams for your main spread. I did bring out the Romance Angels, in case love comes out. I have to say, out of uh, the 11 signs that I've done, the Romance Angels has come out every time. We are also going to use the Major Arcanas again. And we're using these for like bullet points. Um, the way I've been explaining my readings is I do feel like they're levels. You know, like Mother Mary is level one. Um, the, this... The Major Arcanas be level 2. The Tarot Dreams, level 3. The uh, Gilded Tarot, number 4. And Romance, the Romance Angels, number 5. So, that's what we will be doing today. But let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. And let's get her beautiful words of wisdom. For my beautiful Geminis and those intuitively guided. Gonna give him a cut. I'm gonna bring the lid down. There we go. And let's begin. Well, wow. okay, that didn't take long at all. It's like Mother Mary's been waiting. Self respect. Self respect. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. I honor and love myself 
through my healthful actions, self-respect. You know, it's reminding me of another card where I think it's the Romance Angels where it speaks about, you know, when you feel you have um, self-respect, it makes you more romantically attractive. You know, is that really the case? Probably, you know, probably. Um, but it doesn't have to mean like I'm completely healed. You know, I feel like life, we're constantly healing one situation, another situation, but also the blessings. But anyway, self-respect from Mother Mary. Uh, it'll let us know through the reading why, why that's a necessity. All right, so we're going to bring in the major arcanas. And again, I apologize for um, getting your reading out late. I really, really thought I had already done your reading. But this is divine timing. All right. Hmm. We have the devil, part of Capricorn. I have to say, this has come out a lot through the major arcanas. I can certainly talk about temptations. Um, I feel like the devil can certainly throw off illusionary energy. You know, like sometimes you feel there's doom, but there's definitely ways around it. You just got to seek the light. Some of you, though, could just, it could just be a Capricorn. We have the beautiful Empress. I always love it when the Empress shows up in a reading um, because I love her energy. This is someone who's very creative. Uh, she's got her bounty on her lap, so clearly she's seeing the fruits of her labor or beginning to see the fruits of her labor. And again, it's through her creative mind. Um, this is someone who has learned through her own experiences. I feel like the Empress is someone who has gone through the experiences of all the queens. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, Cups, uh, Swords, and Wands. And she's extracted the wisdom from that. That's what makes her so powerful. Because once I know what I know, you can't tell me I don't know it. You know what I mean? Like if I, even if I don't know how I know it, that's your intuition. That's your spiritual team. But I know what I know. Um, she's also the mother figure. You know, that's where the loving, nurturing side of her comes from. We have the strength card. Card of Leo. And then we have Justice, card of Libra. Interesting because Justice is mirroring the devil. Let's call it transformation or potential um, temptation type energy. You know, if that's the case, I love seeing Justice here because that means that, you know, it could be someone's energy, someone else's energy, or it could be things that we're doing in our own life. That may be why Mother Mary said that you really honor yourself through your healthful actions. Because uh, the devil can certainly talk about like addictions, you know, things that tend to grab us and we have to find a way to break free. But then you have the strength card here. So I love that. That means you have the ability to overcome, you know, whatever it may be that seems to tempt you. But again, justice, using that sword of justice. And as soon as you use that sword, what that does is bring balance into your life. Um, for I feel like for most of you, this is talking about something you've already overcome because the Empress is here. So I feel like, you know, this is just reminding you of, you know, the strength that you truly have. You know, the strength card really talks about the power of looking within. Uh, it's really courageous actions. And 
that's exactly what the Empress has done. That's why I feel like for the majority, it's probably something you've already done. May not be for everyone. Um, but if that's the case, it's showing you that you can. You definitely can. Justice is really about making you whole again. You know, what's fair and just in your life. It can certainly be cutting ties with someone. But again, unless this, unless the devil is representing Capricorn for you, then I do feel like it, it might have been the best thing for you. Doesn't mean it was easy. Doesn't mean it will be easy. But I feel like once that process begins, then things start to move quickly as in, you know, whatever was holding me down no longer can hold me down. Whatever was taking my power can no longer take my power. Again, the devil can throw illusions in the air, um, but the empress would know that, see that. The empress trusts her intuition above all. She can read energy. She can feel people's energy. So, you know, it's like, it reminds me of like being at a party and someone walks in a door and you just get this feeling like, hmm, something wrong with them. Or, hmm, there's something I want to, you know, like I want to meet them type of energy. So again, she gets this feeling and then she trusts that feeling. Um, I also feel the Empress is someone who receives a lot of epiphanies. We all do. But this is someone who has learned to really put them into use. You know, she trusts her intuition when the perfect time is to bring whatever it is she's creating to the world. Again, she's got this bounty on her lap. And um, I feel like that's relating to you. You know, right now, I feel like you are the empress. And if you don't feel that way, it could it could signify that, again, I need to use that sort of justice to bring balance back into my life. I might have to cut ties with someone. Um, you know, it's going to be different things for different people. But let's bring in the Tarot of Dreams and let's go ahead and go deeper. You know, if we believe that there is light energy, we have to also believe that there is dark energy and that we really have power over that. Um, sometimes we don't feel it when we're in it, but that may be exactly when, you know, I feel like when you start seeking the light or the answer, I feel like that's when you receive it. Again, if, if the devil's casting any illusions, the empress is going to pick that up. She's just going to be like, no way, Jose. I know your type. Been there, done that. I'm also looking at the goggles that the strength card that she has on and uh, number eight on its side. And to me, that represents infinity. So, which also to me represents something is probably in divine timing. Just like I felt like this reading is, you know, I thought I did your reading, beat myself up a little bit. Like, how could I forget Gemini? Um, but now I do feel like, well, this was the right time. Like this was the time. Okay. Look at this. The devil. And now we get the devil again. Look how he's reaching out his hand. It's like alluring. He's trying to call me to him. Do I want to take that hand? Mm, depends. It depends. You know, I'm not going to roll out 
that it can be Capricorn for some, and it may be someone who's got double Capricorn. Like, you know, could be like Capricorn sun and moon or moon and rising or in their houses. Um, you could be a Capricorn. But let's see why he's reaching or why he's putting his hand out to us. It's almost like, take my hand. We have the Page of Wands. I call her my little go-getter, my little risk taker. Um, not all, of, not all of those risks pay off, but they probably teach something. Um, I often feel in the page of wands is energy. You know, again, I may have taken some chances, and yes, they don't all pay off. I mean, that is life, right? But this is the energy of getting up. You know. I, mm, I want to say and doing it again, but it could also talk about doing something new. You know, she's like throwing her wand and I get a feeling wherever her wand lands is where she's going to go. She does have her back to the devil. And then, hello, beautiful knight of pentacles. Um, this is good news. Anytime I see the Knight of Pentacles in a reading, I feel like this is good news. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, the first message is patience. And that's probably one of the hardest things for us is learning how to have patience. But this is what it requires. And the reason why is because the Knight of Pentacles tells you, I come at the right time, not before and not after. Why? Well, because maybe whatever, because I do feel like this is divine energy, um, a guardian angel. Some of you, you could have a mother figure who is helping to guide you. So when the timing is right, the timing will be right. And I don't feel like this is a one-time thing. If you just look at like all the pentacles, right? Usually you just see one, but look at all these pentacles. feels abundant. Just like I felt the Empress felt abundant. And she's the night is coming right under the Empress. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have, again, like a mother figure who helps guide you. Um, maybe trying to keep you from dark energy and move you more into, you know, something much, much better. This could also be asking you to take a chance on something. Um, I often feel the Knight of Pentacles gives us the way, you know, but at the right time, when we'll take advantage of it. The Knight of Pentacles means that something is coming into your physical world. You know, many times it comes in as a seed and it's really up to us whether we're going to nurture that seed. Well, the Empress would nurture that seed and then that seed will grow and that seed will become bountiful. And then we have the Hierophant. Interesting that we have the devil toys, but then we have a lot of light on the table also. Hierophant, Carter Taurus, your neighbor. That's your belief system. Faith. Do you have faith? Maybe do you have faith that you can overcome something? Seeking the light may be the way. Um, it is a five, and a five speaks a change. But first, you want to reflect upon that. So, you know, it may just simply ask you, like, to take a moment and think about um, your faith. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about just your belief, you know, whatever they may be. And I'm not going to leave religion off the table. Um, and I kind of love that the Hierophant's coming under the strength card. So we have an eight, a new beginning, but I noticed those goggles, that infinity as above, so below. And then the Hierophant who literally looks like he is sitting by the stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. 
that was who wrote that song stairway to heaven i don't it's not zz tops uh led zeppelin i think anyways um i don't know if i said also carter's tars i think i did So let's see where this page is taking you. Well, hello, Knight of Cups. Unexpected couple fulfillment. It is unexpected, but it's also fulfillment. You know, certainly um, can be talking about love. He is holding like a dozen red roses in his hand. It does look like he's being very patient, doesn't it? Like, maybe someone is patiently waiting on you. you the right time to come in. Um, or, it can be, you know, love that you did not even expect to come in. It's like the Knight of Pentacles is helping to usher this in. You know, the Knight of Cups is bringing in the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles is bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. And both of them can flourish. They're meant to flourish. But he does feel like he's being, like he's patiently waiting. Um, and to me, that's a good thing. Because, you know, maybe you need to take care of something in your own life. And then as you do. You know, it's like, as you evolve, so do your blessings. And then the Empress being loving and nurturing, but also very powerful and strong, especially sitting next to the Strength Guard. I'm noticing this letter sitting down on his blanket. Could be a letter he received. Um, doesn't have to be a physical letter, letter, you know, like just this night knows. He's waiting for divine timing. He, she. Okay. Well, two beautiful nights with the hierophant in between them. Do you believe in miracles? You should. And by the way, I often feel like miracles um, are because of effort that we've put in into our own life. You know, changes that we've made using that sort of justice to cut away any lower vibrational energy. As we ourselves evolve, just like the law of attraction, so will what comes back to us. You know, when we're in a higher vibration, and I don't mean perfect, because we'll never reach that. We're not meant to. You know, we're here to learn, to expand. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Another eight, by the way. Um, the Eight of Pentacles can talk about, you know, some of you may be starting a new job. It could be with the Empress here, like a creative project. You may question, like, will it be successful? Eight of Pentacles would say, as long as you're willing to put your focus on it, then you will have success. You just want to put your focus on it. It could be a new avenue you're adding in. It could be something that you've learned, like, and now you're helping others learn. It does feel meant to be. Coming under the devil. We have the two of pentacles. Um, and you know, and I, I don't read reversals very much. Um, but that's really how I choose it with my spirit guides. But one of the things I do say to my spirit guides, if a card comes face up in a reverse, then I'm going to leave it that way. So... This may talk about, um, because in the upright, they call it the juggler's card. A lot of balls up in the air. 
Um, but it is about making a decision. I feel like it's about using your logical mind. Um, and then also because it really is mirroring somewhat the empress, the trust within yourself. Some of you it may be like, it may be answering it quick because I feel like this is you now where you've made up your mind. And that's why I feel like the page is throwing out her wand, like wherever it goes is where I land or wherever it land is where I go. So it does feel like, um, especially if you've been wondering, is it the right time for me to add in or begin something new? The answer feels like yes. Um, the Eight of Pentacles speaks about the willingness to go into something as the apprentice, but hoping and wishing and having the ability to really come out as the master teacher. I could definitely feel where some of you may be helping others to overcome in some way. Um, but I feel like it's due to your own experiences. And I kind of feel like that's what life is about. You know, as we learn, then helping others. And it doesn't have to be a business. But it feels like, you know, like now you're you're carrying this this healing energy, especially if you have overcome something difficult. You just may feel called to helping others. But I feel like you are saying yes, you know. Feels like also like the Knight of Pentacles reached you. Here is this pentacle. And I feel like you're taking it. You're saying yes to that pentacle. And again, guardian angel energy. There really is no reason to say no. If I say no, it you know, it could be it make maybe I feel like I don't have the time. Or again, maybe there's a lot going on in my life. Um, but this really feels meant to be. Well, interesting that I just said that it feels meant to be because that's exactly what I feel in the Seven of Pentacles energy. You know, these are like the seeds right here. These are the seeds. This is the root. And to me, it means it's something that truly will take root um, and will probably last a lifetime. And beyond, you know, like becoming a healer and then I'm a master healer. The more I help, the more people seek me out. I have, this is also a card about patience, though, and it's coming under another card that talks about patience, right? And that means the right time. You know, when you will take what the night is offering and put your focus on it and be willing to allow it to grow. You know, it does take your loving energy to grow it. Um, I often feel this is like your tree of life. And I relate it to like an apple tree. This is why we want to have patience because we don't want to pick an apple before it's ripe. You know, so the right time, divine timing. But I have a feeling divine timing is like now and if not right now soon we have the queen of pentacles my little psychic detective is what i call her she's coming under the hierophant uh she's holding the pentacle right in her hand so she's definitely accepted this pentacle I do feel like this queen, um, and if you just look at her, her eyes are closed. She's like in meditation, seeking answers from above. She's coming right below the Hierophant. Now, for some of you, it can be a Taurus. She's looking back at the Seven of Pentacles, though. Just, and she's calm. 
She's like nice and calm. Like, just tell me. Let me know. And look how she's got this tree. Tree branches coming out. To me, that's a sense of wisdom. You know, it can also talk about an old soul. Some of your old souls. You've been here before. You've done this before. And calling on that energy. Calling on your higher self. Again, she seems to be in a very meditative state. Maybe some of you also um, offer meditation, teach meditation, or that's what you want to do. I could see her doing Reiki. Um, I could really see her doing anything. It's on an earthly plane, on this earthly plane, but it is connected to above at the same time. So... You know, again, the goggles, that is a sign of infinity. And the seven of pentacles right there, Gemini. There's just something that's meant to be. Um, and yes, we do have the knight of cups. So, you know, chances are, well, you know, it can represent also that what you're doing here, that you really have love for it. You know, it's like my baby. and. And I love the patience that I'm seeing on the board. All right. Let's keep going. Judgment. Hello. This is your spiritual team. Coming under the Knight of Cups. And look what she's doing. She's connecting to above. You know, this often reminds me of like astro traveling. You know, how we're connected by that silver, um, silver string. Sometimes when we sleep at night, our soul goes and visits, seeks wisdom beyond this earthly plane. And receives it. Judgment is calling you to the present moment. And I did have this feeling like that this is talking about soon. So calling you to the present moment. Why? There's about to be a rebirth. Now, when I say a rebirth coming under the Knight of Cups, maybe some of you have loved this person before. May not have been in this lifetime, but it would mean that you are soul connected. I could see some of you in my mind's eye where it's like connecting to someone through my dreams. And maybe you don't even know who it is. It's just like I keep having this dream and I get a feeling some of you, it's like, but I don't see the face. Mm, maybe you're not meant to. Maybe you're not meant to yet. But you are being called into the present moment. That's the main message of judgment. I need you in this present moment. This is where I send your signs. So this is guidance. This is your spiritual team guiding you. Um, not only in love but also in what you do in the world. So both feel equally important. I love how her higher self is just going right up into that Knight of Cups. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Cups. So this is you trying to make a decision, an emotional decision. Some of the cups can talk about, you know, like I need to make a decision, but the energy is a little bit chaotic, which is interesting because I really feel the opposite. I feel calm. I feel connected. Because this is at the bottom of the deck, I have a feeling you've already made that decision. Or maybe it's just simply you saying that I'm open. Five of Cups underneath that. Ace of Pentacles underneath that. Wow. 
You know how I just said where I felt um, in judgment? First and foremost, it is your spiritual team, but I see her higher self like connecting to this knight, the knight of cups, who again is just being patient. You know, he's he's he believes in divine timing. You know, he knows when the time is right that his or her intuition will give him the go ahead. Some of you may just receive flowers out of the blue. And it could be someone you already know with the five of cups. But I also want to say, be careful. Know who deserves your energy and who doesn't. Because I feel like you yourself, you feel like you're really evolving. And I'm not going to say don't take someone back if that's what you really want. But if you have been working on your own vibration, if you're really learning about energy and the energy we put out there is what must meet us, then first of all, the Five of Cups can speak about, you know, being in the energy or focusing. That's really what it's about. Like, where is your focus in the Five of Cups? I'm really focusing on what I've lost, who I've lost. But you can't see it in this card. This is a five. So it is about change. Um, and behind this person, when they make that change, is the two of cups. And then you got the ace of pentacles right there. So maybe all this was just meant to happen in divine timing. You know, because I read for so many people, I I try not to leave anything off the board. So, um, I don't feel like for everyone, this is someone you've already been with in this lifetime, but I do feel like you know each other. I feel like it is representing soulmate energy. I mean, why else would your spiritual team want you to be connected right now? Coming under the Knight of Cups. This feels like it's going to be a good month for you, Gemini. Um, granted, I do feel like, let's say the months following up to today may not have been, you know, but there may have been a lot that you have learned. And that is your wisdom. This queen, she's wise. She's patient. Um... Can she be an overthinker? She can be an overthinker, but she doesn't feel it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like she's overthinking anything. Seven of Cups, I can certainly overthink. You know, it's it comes more from like I feel anyways, like a little bit of fear of, you know, maybe you have two people coming in, an ex and someone new, and you're trying to make a decision which direction do I want to go? I feel like the first thing you want to do is pay attention to the energy. Because I feel like anyone who's coming towards you, and you towards them, by the way, um, you should be able to feel their energy. And if you feel like mm, there feels like there's still some toxicity, then I would suggest that you just say no. But that is up to you. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that because it is my life where I have reconnected with someone from my past. And um, I definitely feel like it was meant to be, but I feel like it was it, it happened like later in my life. So, could be both. All right, well, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot and let's go deeper. No more. Everything is always pre shuffled, by the way.
in the cut. And we're going to start at the beginning, but we are reading it as a whole. Um, because the Knight of Cups is out, we will be bringing out the Romance Angels. We have King of Cups. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you know what I'm going to say. That doesn't mean it has to be any of those signs. It can talk about, well, probably love. Um, you know, the King of Cups normally is someone who really does enjoy being in love. Enjoys having that special partner. He is holding a cup in his hand. So he is coming over the devil. Now, if he was in reverse, I would tell you to run. Because that means he's giving his love to everyone else but you. He's not. Though he wasn't completely in the upright. But he does have that cup in his hand. Gemini. Soulmates. I mean, I already knew that. I already felt that. But now, it's literally on the table. Um, and it's interesting, because I do feel like my guides allow me to feel, you know, what's coming up. And kind of knew that we were talking about soulmate energies as it relates to love. But it doesn't have to just be in love. It could also be, like, the perfect partner to help you bring something about. But your soul connected. They are on the same vibrational energy. They're looking eye to eye, you know, and we can recognize another soul through the eyes. That's why they're really focusing on each other's eyes. Are you my soulmate? I think I am. Are you my soulmate? I know I am. We have the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And last but not least, beautiful. Two threes, by the way. Do you know, I see 33 all the time in my readings. Um, and I just feel... First of all, I do feel like some of you have a master number 33 as your life path. Something is making me want to take a second. And I just want to look up. I don't know why I haven't done this earlier. Angel number 33. Um, I, I didn't say that right. Angel meaning for number 33. Okay. The angel number 33 is often considered a positive sign that can have multiple meaning, meanings. Let's just read this one thing. Guidance and support. The number 33 can be a sign that you are being guided and supported by a, a higher power. And also that you're on the right path. Personal growth. The 33 can be a sign to use your creativity and your talents to their fullest potential. Compassion. The number 33 can be assigned to be compassionate towards yourself and others. Resilient. Resilience. 
The number 33 can be a reminder that challenges are temporary and that you have the strength to overcome them. Career and finances. The number 33 can be a sign that positive changes are coming to your career and finances. And then a new beginning. The number 33 can can be associated with new beginnings and positive energy. Okay. Well, every everything that I just read is already in the reading. Okay, so let's now let's backtrack. So, first of all, over the Knight of Cups, we have the Three of Wands. That's a very optimistic energy. You know, this is someone doing exactly what their spiritual team is asking to be in the present moment. In the Three of Wands, they're optimistic because they just know that their ships are come in. They know that what's meant to find them will find them in divine timing. Again, a sense of patience, but also trust. It's mirroring the king. <clears throat> now, I feel like I need to go to the Five of Pentacles for a second. Because the Five of Pentacles, sometimes... It's something that happens outside of our control. You know, like someone could have thrown us a tower. And, you know, as you're going through it in the Five of Pentacles, remember, five is change. Um, It's temporarily difficult energy. But I feel in the Five of Pentacles, where it's truly moving you to, you know, if you allow this change or accept it, let's say, is to your soulmate tribe, not just love, but in all areas of your life. So sometimes things happen outside of our control or things that we think we don't want to have, you know, like we don't want something eclipsed out of our life, but then it gets eclipsed out of our life. Um, But as we, I feel like in the Five of Pentacles, we don't really have the luxury of, you know, doing nothing like I have to keep moving um you know this is also great energy if like you lost a job but this is saying that you have the ability to create abundance for yourself and because it's coming over the knight of pentacles who tells you I come at the right time I feel like You know, again, yes, it is temporarily difficult energy, but this change is what brings a blessing. And then you move right next to it, that Three of Pentacles. First of all, the Three of Pentacles is about celebrating your uniqueness, trusting within your uniqueness, you know, like being like, I feel like your your spiritual team celebrates you for exactly who you are. Um, I love this as a relate. Well, I love this as it relates to career, but also in love because we have the soulmates right there. It talks about someone who will appreciate you for exactly who you are. You know, even those broken little pieces. So I do love it for love. Career. It's trusting within your abilities. You know, um, I often feel in the Three of Pentacles, there's someone or people who admire what it is you do. You just need to believe that within yourself. Again, coming out of the Hierophant, having faith, you know, that I'm on the right path. But again, we just read that you are. Interesting. I love that the Three of Wands also came over the Knight of Cups because it is you doing exactly what your spiritual team is asking you to do. Just bring your energy to the current moment. Know that you deserve, you know, what is coming towards you. You do want to think about, you know, your vibration. I feel like there's something on me. Um, 
Because again, this is someone who has found optimism even after the fact. You know, I feel like for some of you, you use that sword of justice. What it did is balanced you, brought you more to like to current energy. And now I feel like get ready for some blessings to come your way. And when I say blessings, I feel like well earned. Like you have earned these blessings from above. But to use on this physical plane, this earthly plane. All right, let's keep going. You know, I'm torn whether I trust this king, to be honest with you. Just because um, the devil was here twice. But yet, for some of you, I do feel like it is representing Capricorn. Um, and it doesn't have to be like their sun, moon, or rising. It just be something within their house. It could be someone who has gone through um, you know, like dealt with their shadow side and now has, they themselves have also found balance. Strength card again. Over the eight of pentacles. I'm telling you, I feel this all the time in my readings where more and more of you are trusting in your abilities. Like, you're opening up, let's say, to your spirituality and um, you're paying attention to your intuition. You're allowing yourself to be guided. You know, when you don't know what to do, ask your guides to help send you signs. And then you do need, um, I guess, to be in the present moment. I was going to say a calm mind, but your guides can get through even chaotic energy. Two eights, two new beginnings, maybe these soulmates, they both, you know, there could be like a lot of similarities with these soulmates, which is normal. You know, it could be both had to overcome something, both had to use that sort of justice, both had to find that courage within. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but some of you could have dealt with someone who, you know, had, um, let's just say addiction problems, maybe alcohol, and maybe you yourself had that. And I'm, and it doesn't even have to be addiction. Maybe I just, you know, I use it to calm my overactive mind you know, or things aren't going right, then maybe I tend to drink more than I should. Um, but it doesn't really result in anything better. Probably quite the opposite. Um, I do feel like there is something this king had to overcome. But I do feel like he has. And we will go back and clarify him. But I do feel like he has. And by the way, if this is someone coming in towards you that you already know, and you know they have like certain issues that you can't, you just know that you can't live with, that's why you really want to pay attention to your intuition. You know, your guides, unless it's a lesson, wouldn't bring someone into your life that. Well, I was going to say that you have to fix um, because we're really, you know, that's not your job. You know, they have their own spiritual lessons on this earth. But I do feel like there's some similarities here also. So anyways, we'll go back. We have the hangman. Interesting. So right where I felt like you had made a decision, we have the hangman which it really is a pause in the action, but really the hangman seeking wisdom, you know, give me wisdom to use on this earthly plane. 
Some of you have been, may have been waiting for this soulmate energy. And it just may not have been the right time. Um, I get that, you know, because the person I'm with now, I was with in my teenage years, and then we broke up, and then we both went on and lived our own separate lives, and then ended up coming back together 40 years later. So it probably wasn't divine timing then, but, you know, Sam's always lived in my heart, and I in his, so now was the right time, even though it was 40 years later. Another message I'm getting, though, is let's say this king comes in, and this king could also be a queen, understand that, um, because I know there's females and males here. Um, you know, I feel like there's really a need to trust your intuition. Trust that first instinct, because, again, if this king is coming in and there is something that he had to overcome, and he didn't, then you should know that as the empress. Don't second guess it. The queen, that's one of her, you know, that's one of, mm, I hate to say negative traits, but she can certainly overthink something. She did, and, But she's in a meditative state. Slow down, you move too fast. Don't you want the night to last? I feel like something flipped around, but I'm not seeing it. You know, I feel like for a few of you, or maybe more than a few of you, like you yourselves had been improving your own lives. You know, you've been using that sword and you are cutting ties to, it's interesting, I just realized that the devil has a tail, a sword for a tail. Mm. Um, but anyways, I feel like because you yourself are evolving and um, I feel there's a real sense of proudness of you, um, for you, and over you. Again, if this king comes in and claims that, yes, I've overcome that, please trust your intuition. Or, let's put it a different way. Don't move too quickly. Give them time to reveal. You know, let's say this is someone who drank too much or is addicted to alcohol or something and they didn't truly overcome it. Well, you're going to know that pretty quickly. And, you know, I feel like your spiritual team is saying this is not about you trying to help them to overcome because this is their lesson. This is something they have to do on their own. You know, it's about an inner journey. You know, they have the ability, but that doesn't always mean that they have. So I feel like the hangman is just saying, just slow down. You know what I mean? Like, slow down. Give them time to reveal. You know, if they come in and say certain words, let's see if that's the truth or not. I'm not going to move too quickly, even if I want to. Um, and I'm only talking about those right now who already know this person, you know, who had something to, you know, to deal with in their own life. You know, like maybe you also drank too much, but then you stopped. And maybe that's what attracted you to each other. You know, you each had maybe the same problem. Mm, I hate to say problem, but um, but I feel like you've overcome. But did they? 
justice. Double Libra on the board, by the way. Double Leo on the board. Double Capricorn on the board. You know, it makes me feel like someone broke up with you. And you probably didn't ask for it. And I don't necessarily feel it's the king yet, but I feel like whatever has been, let's say, eclipsed out of your life, even though as you were going through it, it feels difficult. Again, that Five of Pentacles reminds you that that's temporary. And especially coming over the Knight of Pentacles, We have another knight, the Knight of Swords. Well, the Knight of Swords usually brings in some form of communication. Um, I often feel like the Knight of Swords is the truth, is someone's truth. We have the High Priestess, which is what I've been talking about through the whole reading. Trusting your intuition. This is your intuition. But it's connected and connected right to your spiritual team. And then last but not least is the page. I mean, we still have more cards. Um, but the way it's falling, the page of swords. Interesting, we have the page of swords and then we have the knight of swords. Now, that could be your younger energy. You know, the knight, to me, a page it certainly can be like younger energy it could be your inner child type energy and then the night could be like the evo like evolving um but i also feel a page is energy that's in the atmosphere so this could be like communication that was completely unexpected however i feel like for many of you your intuition felt it like I felt it. And I feel like that's why the three of wands is also here. Right. I'm going to, I'm going to stay optimistic that, you know, if I'm looking for love though in the three of wands, I feel like I'm really just saying to divine, like I trust in divine timing. And I know, again, that my ships will come in the right time. I just need to do my work on this physical plane. Um, you know, I feel like when we learn to walk hand in hand with our spiritual team, then guidance is very clear. You know, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Like, like this page feels like I feel it. It's in the atmosphere. It's coming towards me. My intuition is going to let me know whether to say yay or nay. Um, but the Knight of Swords kind of feels like the truth to me. Like someone coming in and really speaking their truth. This queen who's in this meditative state, is she helping to manifest this? Maybe. All right. I want to go back and look at a couple cards before we bring out the romance angels. I'm going to look at this king. Excuse me. You know, I've been finding in a lot of readings for December where some are meeting someone new and then as you like start to move into that relationship and feel the joy of it, someone old comes back. Um, and let's say that, you know, they have any narcissistic tendencies. Sometimes it's because someone else says, I'm going to see you happy. You know what I mean? Like they don't make you happy. Like they're not making the effort to make you happy. But I'll be damned if I want someone else to. 
So that could also be the decision making. Um, who did I do right before you? Leo. Leo had two people. Um, actually, quite a few. Oh, what was that? I was looking at this king. Tell me more, tell me more. Interesting, the Five of Cups. So you do know this king. Hmm. You do know this king. Not only do I feel like you know this king, but this could certainly be someone who, like, cut off communication. Broke up with you. Um, probably hurt. I'm sure it hurt. Here's the image, though, of the two cups behind this person. It makes me really question even more of whether this king is my person. Let's take another one with that. The Five of Cups message is asking you, where is your focus? You know, are you focusing on what you have lost? And, and no longer believing in the potential of, well, it's Cups, so let's just say love. <clears throat> is this my soulmate? Could be a karmic soulmate. And what I mean by that is that means we came into this lifetime to teach each other probably something pretty difficult, but nothing that you can't overcome. Some of you could have given someone the title of a soulmate, and they may not be. You know, it could have been like a free will choice. Now, we do have soulmates on the table. Let's take another one with that. Because it's making me feel like... Like I don't think I would take this king. Well, we have the Knight of Wands. Passion. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So that means coming into your physical world. Okay. Because the Ace of Pentacles just showed up, and we have the Knight of Pentacles who promises to bring in this Ace in the right time. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this is someone that you already know. And they may come in very passionate. They may say, I want to be with you. It's interesting how I keep going back and forth with this king. Like, I don't know. So I feel like the best thing I could say right now is if this is someone from your past who, well, I feel like they had to have hurt you in some way because, again, the Five of Cups means I am focusing on the loss. Um, but it could also be the missing of this person. And the Knight of Wands can be very fast moving energy where the hangman's like slow down. Give them time to reveal who they are. You know, if you, first of all, I feel like your energy will tell you, you know, it's like, it's like, your spiritual team says, we, we send you red flags when something's not good. But many of us ignore those red flags. You know, that's just human nature. But it's definitely saying this person's coming in. You know, there's no doubt. All right, I want to come over to the opposite side now. To this Knight of Cups that has the Three of Wands over it. 
Look at this. It's a completely different king. King of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles on the table. Now, I know you're not a Pentacle does, or an Earth sign. Um, though you certainly could have Earth in your chart. Um, well, there's our two people that I felt were coming in. Maybe one, I already know. And the, uh, this King of Pentacles is someone I don't know yet. But I do know them on a soul level. It's like this queen wanting to manifest this king. Her spiritual team knows that. And because she's in such a calm, trusting, meditative energy, and she's also connected to the light, to me that means whatever she wants to bring in or manifest in her life, then I feel like it, it must be of the light. You know, what I like on this side is it's saying that this Knight of Cups, again, unexpected cup, but potentially through the King of Pentacles. Um, and the Three of Pentacles next to that, the appreciation of who you are, you don't know about over here. You know, and it could be both or it could be two different stories. But this King of Pentacles is coming over beautiful light energy. So I know that for some of you, this is your king or queen. You know, the King of Pentacles to me, in the upright, let's make it clear, in the upright, is someone who's loyal, um, is someone who, you know, would would demand loyalty back. Um, is someone I feel like who, you know, I, I feel like they have their life together. Doesn't mean everything is like in working in perfect order, but you know, the majority of, like, I have a job, I have money, I'm not seeking you for your money, I'm not seeking you so I can take, I come because I want to be part of your life. Mm. I can see both. It just, I can see both, clearly. Someone was meant to be cut out of your life. And these swords coming in, especially the Knight of Swords, and I feel like this queen really, from the light, is manifesting, let's just say, love. Because, again, we don't even know who the Knight of Cups is. It's unexpected. It comes in divine timing. It comes when you are truly ready. And I don't mean, like, you have to be completely healed. Because it is showing that you have dealt with something difficult. But it's also showing how this person will appreciate you for exactly who you are, and you, them. Two kings on the opposite side of the table, each presenting some type of love. But which one is the one I'm going to give my energy to? Over here, I feel like I'm being told to slow down. Over here, it just feels, it doesn't feel like there's any restrictions. All right, let's look right at the Two of Cups. You know, no matter what, it's telling you that a soulmate energy is heading your way. And you're heading towards that. Um, 
And yes, you may have had to have patience, but there's probably the patience was probably because you know, giving you the opportunity to raise your own vibration. Because again, if you think about energy, then the universe must meet you right where you're at. So if I'm still focusing on, let's say the past, what I have lost, someone who feels like broke my heart, and then they make a repeat appearance, that's why I need to take it slow. All right. Soulmates. Jeez. Okay, we've got a few, but I am going to take them. We have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is about reflection. It's looking back, at least at the last chapter in your life. But it's really to see how you have grown. You know, it's about the spiritual muscles you have gained through your trials and tribulations. It's how you've overcome and being proud of who you are today. Maybe it was important that you reach that energy and understand, you know, because I feel like in the Nine of Wands energy, I call it my spirit warrior. Um, and when you reach that energy, and let's just say again, the King of Cups comes in, but you feel like there's there's things that you've overcome. Um, there's definitely things that you have learned, you know, on an earthly level, but also on a spiritual level. And again, the your spiritual team saying, be proud of who you are. You should be proud of who you are. Um, so because that's here. If this King of Cups is someone that had something to overcome, I I trust more and more that your energy will be the indicator of whether you, you go forward with it or not. Okay, they're all reversed. I'm going to turn them around. We have the Chariot, Card of Cancer, Eight of Cups, or the Eight of Swords. Self-created prison. Six of cups. Someone that I used to know. Two of wands. Look at this. And the four of wands. Okay. Wow. Four of wands is a marriage card, by the way. Or let's just say a true commitment. You know, the Eight of Swords being here, which really is a self-created prison, it just means that you've you've put up barriers. You put walls around yourself. You're protecting yourself. But that also signifies that you're not really trusting in your intuition because your intuition is your GPS. Like your intuition will let you know very quickly if something is good or not good. Um... And when we put down those walls, it really is a sense of freedom. Like, I feel free to make decisions. I feel free to let certain energy into my life. And I also know when to not to allow it in my life. But putting down those walls would be a big thing. Because if you don't, then it's going to be hard to really trust this energy if it's really meant for you now the chariot's right behind that and the chariot to me comes in kind of like a reward um it means that well first of all it's coming over the soul or under the soulmates and it really is the the balance of the masculine and the feminine energy it's the balance of the light and the dark. And we have both on the board. I can tell you this. It would be someone that you would also have happy memories about. But something went wrong along the way. 
Um, but, you know, I would never say that we can evolve, but they can't. Because they certainly can. And there could have been some time in between. Definitely feels like there's been time. So maybe they have done this reflection. I'm feeling better and better about the king. But I still want to say that the hangman under the soulmates is... I feel like that still stands, taking my time. You know, we start with the two of wands. So that is stepping into it. But then it has ultimately a chance to be like, you know, I feel like the four of wands means this is someone that um, potentially I'm going to marry or... I'm going to make a true commitment with. Yet in the four of wands, I feel like both people clearly want to be here. And it should be clear. Because I feel like this is the type of energy, like when this person, when we come together, like we're never going to want to leave each other's side again. So it's a very positive Type energy. By the way, this can talk about blending families. You know, the only energy that I'm a little worried about is that Eight of Swords. And that could be why the hangman is here. Because you do need to trust your intuition. You know, trust your energy. Trust your ability to read energy. So, let's just say, it's going to be a few different things, I feel like. For some of you, it is going to be someone that you know. And I am feeling better and better about this king. So, there's something that I feel like this king had to overcome. So, I feel like chances are he has. But again, give him the time to reveal. You know, you'll know. And then this king over here, well, this king is meant to be. Um, so this could be for different people. Or you may have two different people that you're going to be choosing from. But I find it interesting because, well, this king's getting the hangman. This king's getting the green light. Let's look at this king. And then we'll bring out the romance angels. We have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Tower. Interesting. Interesting. The Queen of Wands um, can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, you know, when I do readings, like, for a sign, I feel like you are all people, unless I'm feeling it different. Like, I don't feel like you're the kings, unless you are the king this year. Um, Queen of Wands is someone who moves according to her passions. You know, she's not a fear-based energy. Just like how we had the Page of Wands. And now the Queen of Wands. So, it feels like this Queen herself has evolved. But then we do have the Tower. I, I feel like this Tower is talking about a previous life. And maybe something wasn't accomplished that we wanted to accomplish in that last lifetime. So here comes the opportunity to accomplish it. One more time. You know, that tower is made of gold. So it can withstand a lot. You know. Though it's been really struck by lightning, it doesn't cause that tower to fall apart. Look at this. Ace of Cups. I just knew it. I just knew the Ace of Cups was coming out. Love. 
unconditional love. I feel like this is past life. You know, when you see the soulmates, you, you want to remember that your soul connected. And not just in one lifetime, you'll always be connected. Doesn't mean every lifetime we want to come in and love each other because, you know, there's different things our souls want to learn. But there's no denying it's love. And to me, there's no denying that your spiritual team is pointing you in this direction. Interesting. Okay, I'm not going to deny that. So I feel like both kings are coming in. Um, one, some of you already know, there were issues. And I feel like the question is, were they able to overcome them? Were you able to overcome them? I feel like you did. But did they? And bottom line is, I feel like, that's what the hangman wants you to do. It's just give it time. You know, don't like, don't move it too quickly. Um, and maybe that time is needed. Definitely put down walls because you do want to trust your intuition. I'm hoping in the eight of swords that that is old energy. And I'm saying that because justice is right below it. You know, sometimes the Eight of Swords is someone saying, I'm just not inter interested in love. But that doesn't stop it from coming in. It just means you'll say no to it. But what if the perfect person comes in? You know, I wasn't looking for love when I really found the greatest love of my life. Or it found me. I wasn't expecting it. But yet it happened. And now we live together and so in love. Okay, let's pick these up. Now that we have a little bit of a better understanding. Um, and by the way, again, that page of swords, to me, it can certainly be, young, you know, your inner child. But I feel like what it's really representing is what's in the atmosphere. So then you move into that knight of swords, who I do feel like is coming in truth. It's communication, but it feels like truth, like truth. Um, let's pick up all the extra cards and let's bring out the romance angels if I can pick this up <laughs> I'm sorry guys let's um We're going to go over both kings. And, you know, these type of readings are interesting because I'm feeling like multiple things. And I don't feel like one is right, one is wrong. What I mean by that is I feel like different things are happening for different people. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised for a few of you if two people are coming in. One, you know, from yesteryear, but one who is new, but your soul connected. You know, we can't deny that. Your soul connected.
We have, I'm looking at the King of Cups right now. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Some of you, you could simply like call one of your best friends and be like, so-and-so just showed up. What do you think? And listen to their advice. Because, you know, it reminds me of like when I give my daughter advice, I always tell her like my advice comes from pure love. Doesn't mean you have to take it. And she usually doesn't, <laughs> but that's kids. Well, she's a grown adult now, but you know, sometimes they have to learn their own lessons too. But this could be definitely, I, I feel that where it's like asking someone else for their advice over this king. Let's take another one. Hmm. Codependency. How interesting. I felt that from the get go. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. this king and maybe you yourself each had something it could have been some type of addiction you know um when i see the king of cups and addiction i feel ups water alcohol but it doesn't have to be that um and it it, it feels like both were doing the same thing but like you have evolved you understood like i can't keep doing this it's not helping um actually probably causing problems uh, you know i am torn about this king and i feel like because i'm torn about him that's why you really do you know to me when i say take it slow i really mean it um, because yes, this king could have overcome. Why not? Right? But it is something you're going to want to make sure of. Because it does say that it affects your romantic life and the codependency. You know, it could be someone that you're just used to coming in and out of your life. And you have to ask yourself, is that okay? Is this someone who is, you know, has healed that addiction, is now willing and able to, you know, make a life with me? Or will it just bring me right back to where we were? All right, I'm going to come over. Oh, did I pick up the King of Pentacles? Because I want him on the table. There he is. Especially because, actually, I want to bring that back out. Because he came out with the Ace of Cups. All right. So this king, again, coming over the Knight of Cups. Look at this. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is doing. And again, I feel like this is you, or at least you have the ability, you know, going into that calm state, knowing that you can truly um, manifest and manifesting with your spiritual team. It's almost like you're telling your spiritual team like, OK, I'm open to love now. And they're saying, OK. Now that you're ready, we're ready. You know, that eight of swords that we saw earlier. That self-created prison. Maybe you really have put your walls down. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Listen. Difference of energy. Right? Codependency. Asking your friends. Should I do this? Over here, it's like very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. That's what your spiritual team is asking you to do. To be in the present moment. And by the way, the Ace of Cups right over them. Love. 
Um, and, you know, this doesn't even have to be something that moves quickly. And, you know, one of the reasons why I feel like that we should try not to make, you know, sometimes it just does. But I feel like we want to remember also that it's about the journey, right? Flirting, romance, like, oh, that feels good. Let's take one more. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Interesting. Feels like a strange place to come out, but maybe that's a part of it. I keep saying one more, but I feel like I want to take another one. You know, what that means to me, you know, when it when the word forgiveness comes up, to me it doesn't mean that you have to pick up a phone and say to someone, I forgive you. Because some people be like, what do you forgive me for? What did I do? It's about you saying, I'm no longer willing to carry this energy with me. Think if we never let anything go, all that energy would move forward. And if it was difficult, how can we have great love if, you know, especially with the Eight of Swords, like that king would have to get through those barriers. Now, is it possible? It is possible. But it just means like, you know, you may not it may take you a while to believe it. Okay, true love. Well, we have love. King is coming over the Knight of Cups. And your spiritual team feels like the one who's, who is ushering this in. So, this king, yes. I feel very good about this king. This is a romance of a lifetime. I feel like healing feeling issues is really about just letting go of the past. It's about living more in the present day energy. And just like the three of wands says, you know, trusting in divine that these blessings, this love, what's ever meant for you will find you. But it is important that you be in present day moment or present day energy. You know, over here, we were focused on the past. Here, we're focused on the present. This king definitely feels like yes to me. This king, potentially. Both may have been a soulmate, but they may be different types of soulmates. One soulmate, especially because we have the devil twice, which can certainly talk about temptations. And then we have codependency over the king. Um, and because we have the strength card twice, I feel like it's the opportunity for both to overcome. I feel like you have. But let's say, you know, let's just use alcoholism for an example. If I'm someone who had that problem and I have worked on it and I have overcome it, the last thing I need in my life is someone to come in who is a heavy drinker. Will it not just tempt me back to that energy? And if they have overcome it, again, giving, 
yourself the time to allow them to reveal whether they truly have or not. It's like, I want to say yes to this king, but there's something about me. It's just like there's some uncertainty. And I feel like that's why I want to take my time. By the way, when I say I, I mean you. I need to clarify that because I've gotten a few comments where people are like, is this your reading? Because you keep saying I. Well, that's because I'm just literally a Gemini right now. So I am you. That's how I read. Okay. I don't want to deny what's on the board. And I feel like I understand what's on the board. But I also feel like I want to take Mother Mary over all this. One more time. I want to get Mother Mother Mary's advice over. Let's give her a cut. Reintroduce her into the reading. That feels like your card right there. Joy. Well, joy would relate back to the three of wands to me. By enjoying this moment, I'm giving thanks to God for my life. Your spiritual team is asking you to be in the present moment. Now, Mother Mary is also saying the same. By enjoying, and I feel like flirt is a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Like, just enjoying the journey. Joy. You know. I do, I, I'm not going to say no to either king. Uh, and I'm talking me now. Um... But I do feel the difference. I just do. And for some reason, joy makes me feel like it's meant to be over here. Though this may also bring you joy. But then the need to take it slow. Just to make sure. Because the last thing you want to do, I believe, is... Go back to something that you have already, like, why do I want to repeat a lesson? Or if there's something that I have overcome that probably was not easy, am I willing, you know, what if it happens again? So I guess I have to say to each their own on the table right now, because I know some of you are going to be like, yes, I do want someone from the past to come back. But this person is also from the past. I'm just feeling right now that this is someone who um, you probably haven't loved in this lifetime. Or maybe you know them. But I don't feel like there was a romantic relationship. But but what I'm really feeling is th that you loved in a previous lifetime, but there feels like there was something. Maybe you were trying to come together in a previous lifetime, and for whatever reason, um, it didn't happen. This lifetime, it's happening. Do you know, Ace of Cups, unconditional love. You know, and then the three of pentacles next to that king. I appreciate you for exactly who you are. You know, especially as you start talking. And you're talking about, you know, your life. And the things, your trials, your tribulations. They're not going to look down at you. Quite the opposite. They'll probably say, wow, what a powerful person you are. I'm proud of you. And because the Empress is here, again, she's very powerful and strong. And I don't feel like the Empress would accept less than what she knows she deserves. And I don't mean that in an egotistical way. 
It's just trusting energy. So, I feel like I'm going to leave it there. Um, this may be one of those readings where maybe you do have to watch it more than one time. Um, because you know what I feel? This is what I say in personal readings, by the way, all the time to everyone. I say, listen to it, um, but then turn around and listen to it again. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like the first time we hear a reading, we're really using our human ear ears. Um, but there's so much spirituality on the table that then we listen to it again. And it's like, okay, now we're picking up the spiritual messages. We're using our spiritual ears. Joy to me is also number three. And the threes that we have on the board are, are quite beautiful. So, you know, bottom line is the soulmate's coming. It's going to be different for different people. Um, and for some of you, it's two people. And if this is someone over here who you feel will tempt you back into let's just say lower vibrational energy again, after you've done so much work for on yourself, you know, you've lifted your vibration. You know, I can't tell you what to do. I just want you to realize that. And the hangman to me feels so important on this side. Over here feels the opposite like i feel like pretty quickly you'll understand that this really is a true love i mean what does it say this is a light this is a romance of a lifetime and it's even asking you to extend your light-hearted energy to each other decide what you want put the intentions behind it and then watch it manifest. Be clear about what it is you want, though, also. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when we've gone through, let's say, a breakup. Sometimes we think we want someone back. But we don't know about this over here. Hmm. I keep going back and forth. Um, I feel like I have to leave it up to you now um, and let you just, you know, trust your intuition. I cannot wait to read your comments because your comments are going to help give me clarity. Um, but you also help give others clarity. You know, I say this all the time, but I feel like the comment section is really a great place for a lot of us to heal through other people's experiences. You know, I can relate this to my personal life also because before Sam, that fateful day when he called my phone out of the blue, I was, I picked up the phone and I called the person I had been with that I had broken up with two weeks earlier. And I, again, a lot of you know this story, but I was in like this, I was feeling lonely at that moment. And that's why I called. And I kind of knew, you know, that the love was gone. And then when I'm on the phone with this person, my call waiting comes in and it was Sam who really is my true love. So that's why I'm saying I could see both happening. All right. I'm going to let it be. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you for your comments ahead of time. Um, thank you for your donations. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, it really is what keeps me on YouTube. Uh, I don't know about other tarot readers, but um, it's not easy. You know. 
because this is where I put all my focus. Well, I do a lot of personal readings also. Um, and I'm thinking today's, today's Cyber Monday. Uh, so check the comment section. I may do a one day sale on the personal readings. Um, and if you don't like, if you don't get like the comments, then that means your bell, that little bell is not rung a hundred percent. Um, and that's if you're even interested. Uh, so anyways, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to be me. And I love you for who you are, period. Um, you know, we're all evolving together. We're all one big soul family. And that's why I feel like the comment section really can be a healing place for all of us. All right, guys. I love you. I thank you. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye. Doesn't want to end.